something that we wanted to talk about today is something that is usually a little controversial, and that is, can you own just one ferret? Now, I think it's common for most people when they first start out with ferrets to only get one ferret. This is what we did when we first started with ferrets. Our first ferret, Dobby, was all by himself for about six months before we got Winky, our second ferret. Now, depending on who you talk to or where you read online, really depends on what kind of information you get when it comes to should ferrets have other companions. Now, when we had Dobby for that first six months before getting Winky, he was actually a pretty happy ferret. We played with him all the time and he actually bonded to us a lot. He was one of our only ferrets that actually really responded to his name and always sought out attention with us. Now, that obviously was probably because he didn't have any ferret companions. Now, was this the best for him? Now, it really depends. When we ended up bringing Winky home, obviously he ended up playing with Winky and really enjoyed his time with him. Does that mean it was absolutely horrible having him by himself for that first six months? I don't necessarily think so. I really think it's going to depend on the ferret. There are some ferrets out there that actually don't like other ferrets, and I've seen where they've actually gotten really aggressive with other ferrets. Those ferrets may be happier just being by themselves. For the most part, I do think it is a good idea to have more than one ferret. Ferrets play pretty rough. If you've ever seen two ferrets playing, they tend to use their teeth a lot and will sometimes drag each other around. In most cases, this is not necessarily aggression, just the way they play. And most humans, they're not going to be able to fulfill that role because most of us aren't going to want to be grabbed by these pointy, pointy teeth and then dragged around. It hurts. While we're no expert, I do think they enjoy the companionship of each other. So before, when both me and my husband were working long days, anywhere from 10 to 12 hours, we made sure they had a huge cage area so that way when they were home alone, they had tons of room to play since they couldn't be free roam. We had two double ferret nations attached, so this was six feet wide by two feet by over six feet tall, so they had a lot of room. But in that cage, even though they had tons and tons of hammocks, tons and tons of beds, so many places for them to sleep, they always slept together. Even now, when they free roam, most of the time we find them all still curled up all together. So while there is no evidence that 100% supports that ferrets can be alone or if they prefer to have buddies, we really feel that they prefer buddies. So if you plan on getting a ferret, I would wait and save to make sure you can get two ferrets if you can. Again, just watching and seeing how our boys always have played together and how they prefer sleeping with one another, we just really feel that they're happier with others of their kind. 